Let's have some fun. Everybody good? All right. If you don't know how these work, uh, I don't know what you've been doing. But there's probably one person that's like, what, what's going on down there tonight? So uh, silence your cell phone. And then uh, <laughs> tonight is uh, different. It's not, it's not the normal stand-up I get to do where I get to do jokes and then crowd work and then like go back and forth. And tonight I just got to just like work with what's in front of me or what I thought about since I woke up. <laughs> and then we put these on YouTube and then I cross my fingers like, I hope they like it. <laughs> really, I hope y'all like it. Shit, I don't know. I do not know what we about to talk about, but we're gonna have us some fun. But we're gonna try. Shit. All right, so here's the rules. If I look at you and you don't want no shit, look away. <laughs> Just like that. And that goes for the whole table. So if you thought you was gonna get talked about and person at your table look away, you're gonna have to just be, be upset in the car. It's not my responsibility. <laughs> Rule number two, if I look at you and you look at me and I start and you don't like the direction I'm going, looking away will not save you, it's too late. <laughs> and rule number three is uh, don't be sensitive on behalf of other people, fuck them. That's it. And so we're just going to make this shit up. Cool? All right. So we got some lesbians. We got some black love. We got some lesbians. We got some regular love. You're not a lesbian? Oh, oh. I wasn't even talking to whoever that was. They were scissoring right when I said it. Oh, we are right here. <laughs> you not a lesbian? No, you, you, got, you throwing me off with this, uh, this masculine ass tank top you got on. We've been friends for 20 years. Okay. Girls night? Yeah. Outstanding. And so uh, I'd like to talk to you since she's so uh, outgoing. We're going to cool her engines off just a little bit. <laughs> What's your name? Tommy. Tawny? Tawny. That's dope. That's like the paper towels. And then, what's your name, sir? <laughs> Did you flip me off? Fuck me? <laughs> no. My name's Renee. Renee? Nice to meet you, Renee. And so where do you lift at? <laughs> are you getting ready for a show or something? Are you, are you cutting right now or bulking? Which one are you doing? You're from Thurston County? Yes, sir. Uh, North Thurston High School? Uh, yes, sir. Yeah, you strike me as a North Thurston Ram. I mean, where, 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 where I'm from, there's three different high schools. One of them, uh, all the kids got money. The other one, all the kids are a little hood. And the other one, uh, the girls chew tobacco. So, and I, have to chew, chew tobacco. I guess chew tobacco school. <laughs> <laughs> she was like, right here, motherfucker, I got a dip in right now. That's what it sounded like when she lost her virginity. Come on now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a beautiful day. Giving dick to Renee. <laughs> so, Tony, you didn't go to North Thurston, huh? No, she didn't. I could tell. Are you from Thurston County as well? Yes. So, you went to Timberline? I grew up on Fox So, you went to Timberline? Yeah, see, that's the school with the money. You got your sunglasses on top of your head like you've been to Moses Lake a few times. And I went to the third school, so we were a little hood at my school. <laughs> it wasn't like dangerous hood, but we had people making beats on the table in the cafeteria before school started. All you need is a pencil. We rappers now. 
from hood to hood, backyard to yard. That's every, that's every high school experience with more than 10% blacks. <laughs> that's what we did. And so these are lesbians too, right? Okay, we got a little collection going. Y'all too, right? Okay, one, four, five. Two of y'all, you just a single lesbian? You what? You have a wife, is your wife with you? Okay. Uh, you just left her? <laughs> These are some basic answers, but they, they are the answer. Her wife at home like, I could have had a man for this. <laughs> just gonna be stuck at the house, fuck. So this is a couple, you got your hand locked around her hand. This is love right here, huh? Hell yeah. Okay, so you like monster trucks. <laughs> Tough ass white woman. Hell yeah! You didn't go to North Thurston by chance. Just, okay, all right. Yeah. I'm from Cali. You from where? Cali. You from Cali? Yeah. What part? Bay Area. What part? Monterey. What part? Monterey. What part? It got sides, motherfucker. Don't act like that. I'm well traveled. You from the side that takes shit or the side that shit keeps getting taken from? She said, we take shit where I'm from. And so how long you been driving trucks, man? <laughs> you don't drive trucks? No, well, goddamn, what do you do? You look like a truck driver. I'm a security supervisor at McNeil. Security supervisor? At McNeil Island. At McNeil Island? That's the prison, ain't it? It is. It's, it's a commitment it's, center for sexually violent predators. You're at a commitment center for sexually violent predators? Yes, sir. Jesus Christ, sir. You see anybody in here you recognize? <laughs> we got a pack of wild lesbians in this motherfucker. You sure? Especially that one back there. She left her wife to come out and cheat and take some pussy. Ain't this a bitch? She out here. Well, thank you for coming to uh, laugh with us. I'm pretty sure that's not very funny of a job on a regular basis. Have you ever seen this young lady next to you? Just out of just sheer curiosity. Okay, uh, you have something to say, Tani? I was gonna say, I work for Department of Corrections too, so we... Oh, you work for him? Oh, we work together. Okay, you recognize her? I work for DSHS. Oh, okay, and who do you work for? Department of Corrections. You work for, you in jail? He outside of jail? I monitor the prison. You monitor the prison. Do prisoners see you? Every day? Not every day, but mostly. Mm -mm. I get to see that. You got a special one? <laughs> <laughs> <She's> like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just love 4453461. <laughs> he looks like he can fuck. <laughs> All right. And then how about you two? This is a happy couple right here? Outstanding. It is? This not a, like a father-daughter situation? <laughs> Sir, how much older than her are you? Shit, six years? You must have found the fountain of youth. <laughs> and he got lost in the old forest. <laughs> you aged like a president. <laughs> First black female president of the United States. All right, this is gonna go good. I can feel the energy is getting to where I like it. We're gonna have some fun. I do wanna talk to you guys the most out of everybody I just interacted with. Well, you guys and the lesbians right here, I wanna talk to, wanna talk to uh, Michael B. Jordan right there pretty bad too. <laughs> you were the shit in Creed, girl. Hey, so what's your name, sir? Chris. Chris, that's a nice regular name. And then what about your queen here? Amy, Chris and Amy. Is that on your license plate? You can fit that. That's, you, only need, you only need seven digits to get it on there. Amy, Chris, Chris, Amy. How did you meet your queen? Bumble. Bumble? That's the internet, right? That's where the girls pick? Yeah. 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 That's cool. So you chose this old motherfucker? <laughs> <laughs> what category were you in? Like silver foxes, Chris popped right up. <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha!
<laughs> Amy, huh? <laughs> Does your name got an H in it? C-H. Okay, that's not gonna fit on the license plate. <laughs> and what do you do for money? Mm, auto body. What was that little mmm? I'm not the only one that noticed it. Other people are like, mmm. Mmm. I heard this whole section go, mmm. He's a cop. <laughs> you say you work in auto body? I do. Okay, what you specialize in? I, I estimate before the cars get repaired. You just walk in and say, hey man, this shit is a total. <laughs> I don't make any money on those. You don't make any money on the total ones? So you, you just come in and you be like, yeah, it's about $1 shy of total. <laughs> <laughs> a little cushion. Okay, and Amy, what do you do? HR. HR, human resources for an anonymous company? The government. For the government, at what level? Kind of high. <laughs> like federal, state? Federal. You work for the federal government? You a fed? Chris, you sure you're not a cop? <laughs> this sounds like cop love. <laughs> you look like you, you look like a cop. You ain't got no facial hair. That's a standard issue. Freeze motherfucker face. <laughs> Doesn't he look like a cop? Michael B. Jordan. Don't he look like a cop? <laughs> Don't he look like a cop? If you grow it out, it's all gray and I get made it's fun of. Worse. If you grow it out, it's all gray and you get made fun of. Well, I know it's gray. It's not like it's gonna come out and you're gonna be younger. <laughs> this is interesting. We got white people with money in this bitch tonight. Okay, where the black people with money? Say yay, yay. Yay. Right there, you young too. You got involved fast. I didn't even finish the second yay. You was already gone. <laughs> we were like, yeah, yeah, ha. I got mana, <laughs> monyano. What you do for work, sir? Uh, millwright. You're a what? Millwright. One more time? Maintenance on large machines. What did you say, though? Millwright. Millwrighter? Yeah. And so you are a mechanic on big ass machines. Give me $200. <laughs> I don't want to talk about it. Just figure out how you're going to get it to me. <laughs> Stop acting light skinned. Find the money. He was like, well, you know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't got it like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> OVO. <laughs> so this is a double date then? Yeah. Hell yeah. Who set it up, the girls or the guys? Me. <laughs> Me. <laughs> you paying for everything too? Like, man, broke motherfuckers. Y'all need to get y'all the driver's license. Everything. Say what? Got Not, he got to pay for his own? That's his wife. Oh, they, everybody married? Hell yeah, young love. How long you been married to your queen? Been with her 11 years. Well, I say your queen, and you was like, I've been married to her for 11 years. <laughs> that would suggest that, yeah, you're married, but that's not the queen. That's fucked up. <laughs> How long you been married to your queen? Ooh, this bitch? Shit. <laughs> She's like, yeah, that was a little fucked up when you put it like that. <laughs> Get your answers right, man. This shit's coming hot and fast. All right, and, and wifey, what's your name? Sylvia. Sylvia, nice to meet you. Sonia, okay, and, and do you correct him like that too? 11 years? <laughs> he like, bro, you don't even understand, man. Sometimes I be fixing trucks that ain't even broken just to get the fuck out the house. <laughs> Last week, I fixed some light machinery. I just had to get up out of there. And so, Sonia, what do you do for uh, revenue? Um, I build a part-time You're a part-time bartender? So you just throw your couple of dollars with all of his money and call it contribution? <laughs> she like, put that little $120 over there with the rest of that. <laughs> I'm gonna get my toes done with this. You don't need this money. You got... <laughs> I use my money to stay fine. You use your money to stay alive and provide for the family and to take care of the children. And... Okay, and then is this your relative? You guys got the same forehead. That's an old friend? How, how old? Because y'all got the same forehead, man. You might need to check that out. You know who your daddy is? Is it his daddy, too? He look like you with a different facial pattern. And so what's your name? Foster. Foster? Like the Australian beer? Are you Australian? Crikey. 
And that's your wife behind you? How long y'all been together? Seven years. So you got seven, they got 11. Thank you, come again. <laughs> if, if someone was to ask y'all at gunpoint, which one, of you, which couple was gonna make it, which one was gonna make it? Both. No, you don't get both, it's the gunpoint. <laughs> so fuck him, huh? <laughs> y'all gotta fight. You got, you got good money too? What do you do? Your wife nodded. She's like, oh, he paid. <laughs> what you do? Occupational therapist. Occupational therapist? For who? You're a student. Ma'am, why'd you nod for that? <laughs> he ain't got the money yet. You nodded for his potential. <laughs> Ma'am, what the fuck was a nod for? Oh, you was in the military. You both were. Dis disability? 100%? You told him you can't sleep and your feet hurt? You know that's how to get the money. I don't know if y'all know, that's how you get the money. Shit, that's what Michael B. Jordan said, and he been paid ever since. He got out of E3, and he got more money than E9s right now. I don't even know if it goes up to nine. I'm just up here making up shit. He like, oh no, it goes to nine, bro. And so let's talk to you, uh, Ma'am, does, does that make you, are you okay with that? What's your pronouns? I don't want to address you wrong. Nigga, what do you do? <laughs> hey, don't edit that out either. I need that one. <laughs> At least the end part. Mm, like I need that to stay. Because I don't want them to think I lean forward and call her a bitch. I didn't do that. If you mute it, people are gonna be guessing what word I said. I want them to hear this, the hard end before I get to the igger part. <laughs> and so what's your name? Tanisha. Tanisha, nice to meet you, Tanisha. They call you that or do they call you something a little more tough now that you done went ahead and <laughs> bought a gun, you know. <laughs> they call you TT. <laughs> they call me TT, 10 grand, 10, 10 on your ass, what's up? They call me Ren 10 Tanisha. And this your queen? Yeah. Hell yeah. Y'all look good together though. I ain't even gonna hold you. Thank you. How long y'all been together? Seven years, married three. Seven years, married three? Damn, lesbians be bullshitting too? She got you to, who asked who? I, that's, I always wanna know, cause. Oh, I ain't So you the boy. <laughs> <laughs> that's not politically correct, but if you look at every lesbian couple, you'd be like, which one is the boy? Chances are you're not gonna be too far off. That's the boy. And that's the boy back there that left your wife at home. <laughs> you should be like, shit, I'm going out. There's gonna be some hoes down there. That's some boy shit. <laughs> so how did you meet your queen? In a club. In a club? What, what club was this? Uh, Warrior, we from Philly. Oh, y'all from Philly? Okay, what part of Philly y'all from? You from where? My the nicer part. Yeah, she, I ain't never heard of that. Well, she just said, is that even considered Philly anymore? Yes. Do you guys listen to Meek Mill in the part of Philly you from? Yes. Because you out there by Sam's, ain't it? Cheese steaks? Sam. You said Sam? Max's, sorry. Yes. Yeah. You be eating that shit? No. Why? That's the crackheads be making that food. Crackheads be making that food? Listen, when we went to Philadelphia, we had, <laughs> they make them one foot at a time. When I tell you we ate seven feet, <laughs> I was like, something's in this shit, man. I, I, I want, I want <laughs> God damn, I want another one. I just finished one. Now you telling me they sprinkling crack in the goddamn sandwiches? <laughs> you know what's funny? I've been calling you Michael B. Jordan, and they met in the movie at that steakhouse. That's, that's fucking weird. <laughs> so how long did it take you to get her to come on and be your girl? It was quick. It was quick? Okay, Philly. <laughs> like, how quick? Like, hey, what's your name? Know? 
<laughs> you said it took two years? Two weeks. Two weeks? Oh, okay. How many days did you go on in two weeks? Two. Two days. Three. Do you remember? I remember. Tell me the lesbian love story. What do you mean? On the date? Yeah, I want to know how you made her fall for you. Oh, that's I'm just me. Like, you just you? What you mean? How she felt? I like the confidence and the reals it takes to say that. I'm not even going to tear it down. I'm going to let it sit right there. Because you have a beautiful fade. And that probably is what did it. She's like, oh. What you say your name was again? <laughs> Get your from the suburbs pussy eating ass up. <laughs> All right, shit. That's crazy. That, that's interesting. You came from, from the good part of Philly. She came from the dirt bikes on the street part. That's what they beat up. You gotta, that's Man, I'm well traveled. I know exactly where not to go. And it's everywhere she's familiar with. <laughs> Hell no. I was in the bank and they was like, are you gonna rob it? And I was like, no, nah. they're like, you should. Nigga, they got all the hundreds over there. I said, ain't you security? Like, man, just give me a couple dollars on the way out. I was like, what in the fuck is going on in Philadelphia? <laughs> so this, this, this is a love story right here, right? I like your shirt, what's that, what the duck? I like that, got a little duck on there and a little what the. How long y'all been again? Eight years, but you've known him since 2006. That's what, 18 years? You don't want to sound old? We got them old ass pants. How you gonna try to be young and you got on MC Hammer pants? Uh-oh, 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 face ass. <laughs> I've been around the world, from London to the Bay. It's a hammer, go hammer, it's a hammer, yo hammer. <laughs> you can't look young with them old ass goddamn pants on. Stand up, let them see that bullshit. Look, 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 look. <laughs> Sit your old ass down. <laughs> He's like, hey, hey, chill, chill, chill. Nah, so this your wife? That's what's up, bro. And how did you pull her? Do you remember? No, I pulled him. You pulled him? Yeah. Shut up. No, I pulled him. Y'all pulled? arguing, I pulled you. No, I pulled you. I pulled you by them old ass pants, bitch. Now you didn't pull me by my old ass pants, Tyreek. <laughs> What's your name, sir? Marcus and? Kyla. Kyla, nice to meet y'all. So this is, is this, are y'all from the hood too? We in the Chicago area. Where? Chicago. Chicago area. So you're not from the hood? Cause usually when people throw area on there. No, I, I've been to Chicago. I was homeless for two years. I've lived all over Chicago. You, wait a minute, you just said a lot of information. Okay. <laughs> I was homeless for two years. I, okay. Uh, I want to know where you live, not where you didn't live. <laughs> Is that where you met her? You were like, hey, bitch, get out the tent. <laughs> Bring your ass out that tent, bitch. And she came out, zip, zip, zip. <laughs> what the fuck you want? I want some pussy, homeless bitch. Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. He said, yeah, here come the hammer. And he walked into the tent zzz, 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 and zipped it back. <laughs> what part of Chicago are you calling the area? I'm from Kankakee. You from Kankakee? I know somebody from Kankakee. Yeah, my boy T. Murph. Terry, I know. You know Terry by his real government name? You grew up with T. Murph? Yes. That's, yeah, uh oh. <laughs> Uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. <laughs> he had the hammer. No. No, he didn't have the hammer? Okay. We graduated together. We literally grew up together, like four square. You didn't grow up with T-Mur. I did. No, you might grow up with his auntie, but you didn't grow up with T-Mur. I know his real fucking. Shut your old ass up. No, I know his fucking. I know his fucking. We grew up down the He'll be mad as hell when this shit hit. No, he'll tell you. Yeah, but he didn't want you to say his government name on him. His government. You said, I know Terry. <laughs> Y'all from Kankani. You know, there's only a couple Terry Murphs. No, you just did the first 48 shit on the low. 
Hey, you from Chicago area as well? You from Kankani as well? Where are you from? South suburbs. The south suburbs? How far south? Are there numbers? Are there numbers? 90s? Hundreds? For, you can go farther than hundreds? Yeah. Okay, so you, wait a minute. They told me the higher it goes, the worse it is. Correct, correct. You from the 300s? The 400s? You, you are dressed like a character from The Wire. <laughs> Do you have weak eyes? Is that why you're wearing sunglasses at night? Oh, well you should just keep your glasses off. You got regular eyes. You know, some people take their glasses off in front of me, they be like, nah, my eyes regular to the month. Like, I be like, nigga, put your glasses back down. <laughs> Shit, now I see why you had them up. <laughs> so y'all from the Chicago area and actual Chicago. What, what um, y'all listen to R. Kelly? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. You do? Yes, I do. You, uh, you don't even care? I don't care. No, it's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle? They asked to go there. They asked to go they there? They asked to go there. Who asked to go there? Whoever wants to get fucked. They go. Oh, that's what happens in Chicago. She said, that's what happens in Chicago. You want to step in the lame of love, bitch, it's going to happen. If your mind's telling you no, don't go. <laughs> don't give a damn if your body telling you yes. Stay your ass in the house. <laughs> you should see something wrong with bump and grind. <laughs> so how did you pull her that she thinks she pulled you? This is the craziest shit I've ever heard of. So she worked at Best Buy. She worked at Best Buy? So she was in there in a little blue shirt <laughs> and some big ass pants. <laughs> you like, how much is this computer? She's like, $10,000. You were like, uh-oh. <laughs> uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> See that security tag? Here come the hammer. <laughs> so she was in Best Buy working, and you went in there looking for what? CDs. Uh, CDs. A lot. A lot of CDs. You know how I know they old? <laughs> he said, I was looking for a lot of CDs. That means you had that big ass book in your car. Remember that big ass book? You be trying to drive like, shit. Yeah, yeah. Oh, silly sale. <laughs> it's going down. It's going down. I don't like it. <laughs> DMX is an alphabetical order. And shit. <sighs> so you went in there, you were CD shopping, you were splurging for new music. $400 oh, worth. $400 worth of CDs. So that's about 40 albums. Yeah, so you, so you used to sell dope, because that's $400 at that time in the Chicago area sounds a little bit questionable. Why did you have so much money for CDs? Usually you just go get the CDs that came out that week or last week. $400, was you locked up? He was like, I gotta catch up. Trying to replace my life. You were trying to replace what you lost? Your ex-girlfriend cut them up and shit? Hello? No, I just left, I left him where I, where I came You left him where you came from? You had to move real fast. You was like, I gotta get out of here. You left your book. Okay, so you was at Best Buy like, man, let me re-up. And you was going through the CDs like, man, I'll be sure. <clears throat> let me go down to the T's, see if I can find something I like. Tony, Tony, Tony. <laughs> Twister, yeah, all oh, Chicago. Y'all ain't got no more Twister? Nigga, he from here, you know he gone, he sold out. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> I thought he was stealing. You thought he was stealing? Why? Who buys $400 worth of CDs? Who buys $400 worth of CDs? Nobody. Exactly. Yeah. There's a lot of people that buy $400 worth of CDs. DJs, niggas that's about to um, copy them and sell them to the whole community. No, the fact 
then and LimeWire back then. So, no, you were downloading yeah. things back then. He had LimeWire? Yeah, had LimeWire back then. I'm not sure what year this was that y'all met, but based on what you told me when we first started talking, you lied. But 06, this sounds like 97, 96 type shit. I'm gonna just be real with you, you saying some old ass stuff now. We met in 2006, we was on the bus, Rosa Parks was there. <laughs> I'm trying to figure out where the hell they from and when, what, what year was this? <laughs> they like Charlie, Charlie Wilson was young and singing with the Gap Band still. <laughs> See, he what? So you, you thought he was stealing. You snuck up on him or you ran up on him? Well, I basically come running and said, I don't want to put all these you know, CDs away. Um, hopefully you got some money because I don't have time. <laughs> what? <laughs> she said she walked up and said, um, I hope you, <laughs> I hope you're going to put all these CDs away because... I don't want to do it because I ain't putting all that shit away. You better have some money. Right. Right. He was like, girl. Yeah, no, he did. He just looked at me crazy and pulled out like maybe like three, four thousand dollars. He looked at you crazy and pulled out three or four thousand dollars in 1963. <laughs> he could have bought a Buick Skylark with that. He could have bought a small one bedroom home with that kind of money. He in there buying CDs to play on his record player. So you were like, you better have some money. He was like, man, you don't know who you fucking with. I'm Marcus. Yeah. Yeah. I'm Marcus Darkest. I'm the darkest brother from the South South side from the 400s. I'm Darkest Marcus. Wow. So you saw the money and you were like, well, shit. Um, right, <laughs> I know where the Twister albums is at. They up under here. <laughs> they up under here because he be, they always be stealing Twister because he's from here. So I got that for you. Okay, so then you walked him from the CDs to the front register. Yeah, and so I asked him his number and we. Um, you asked him his number because you want to know if he had a membership at the Best Buy. You're supposed to ask. <laughs> you was at the register. What's your, your number? Boop, boop, bop, boop, bop. He was like, bitch, I'm paying cash. The fuck? I ain't got no goddamn membership in this bitch. <laughs> he was like, can I have your number? That was a lot of money. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she said, back then, it was a lot of money. <laughs> we didn't have a lot of money or our freedom in 1863. So I really appreciated when he showed me all that money that he had down there. He asked me what kind of pants I had on. I said, they break away, tear away, and run away. <laughs> That's how I get out of here. <laughs> so you took a $100 bill, wrote your number on it, and gave it to her. You stuck it in her bra. You folded it up and said, call Darkest Marcus when you're ready to listen to a shitload of music. <laughs> so she kind of did holler at you. What, what part of this make you think you hollered at her? You wasn't doing shit but shopping. When you put it like that? When I put it like what? The truth? <laughs> when you put it like that, I guess I didn't holler. No. You were about to get arrested. <laughs> then you showed her enough money to change her life. Because in 1763, that $400 is a lot of money, man. <laughs> you could charter a whole boat to go from one country to another. And if the sale go out, you can strap your pants up there and get the rest of the journey in the way. <laughs> but if I was on a sailboat and the sail went out, I'm gonna be like, uh-oh, 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 uh-oh. <laughs> Somebody give me a hammer. <laughs> well, I'm glad y'all made it this long. How many kids y'all got? One. One, okay. And um, you, so you don't listen to that much R. Kelly because that's baby making music. <laughs> What's your favorite R. Kelly song? My favorite? I'm talking to you still. Leg Shaking with Ludacris. What's it called? Leg Shaking. Leg Shaking with Ludacris? Yeah. That's an interesting selection that you would pick right there. You know? <laughs> Darkest Marcus. <laughs> they say, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you having fun, ain't you, bitch? <laughs> <laughs> Can you see my leg shaking? Not in them big ass pants. She want to be young so bad. 
But you look great. You should embrace whatever age you are, man. Life ain't promised. It's my birthday. It's your birthday right now? Shut up. 227 years old. <laughs> she been here before. Okay, how young are you? 39. 39. See, now that really don't make sense with all of the stories you said. So you were eight years old working at a Best Buy? I didn't even know Best Buy was around back then. It was Circuit City. I started, I started at Oak Creek. You, you started at Circuit City? No, no I started at uh, Circuit City in 08 before they... Uh, you worked at Circuit City? I did, while I was homeless. And, oh, while you was homeless? Yes. The only city you lived in was the Circuit City? No, I did Best Buy in 03. That's when I officially got hired when I went to college. And I left college in 2006 and worked at Best Buy. You left college in 2006 and then worked at Best Buy. That's what's up. And so what's your degree in? I have two degrees. I have an associate in science and I have associates in political studies. In science and political studies? You supposed to be a mayor or a governor or something. I'm trying. 2028, I am. You gonna run in 2028? I'm trying to where we live at. Yes. Where you live at? We gonna vote for you. DeKalb County, in Illinois. You in DeKalb County? They not gonna let you run. I know, I know. I'm the wrong tone. I'm the wrong tone. That's a sundown county. I, I, yeah, it is. That's why Marcus don't go out after 8:30. Come to You ready? ready? Now with his eyes open and his palms exposed. It's a farm. You know. You know. He be like. Uh oh. <laughs> Here comes the popo. All right, well, that's a beautiful love story. I hope y'all make it forever. And so, 39 today, we should celebrate your birthday. Are you drinking a birthday drink or something? Or? Long Island Top Shelf. Long Island Top Shelf? No what? vodka, all Don Julio. Man, don't lie just because I'm about to, you know. Give me a, a water. With two straws in it and a cherry. It's nothing. He said, it's nothing. What's the top shelf drink you got in your drink? Things top, like just, I, well, no vodka. I do tequila all day. Tequila? Okay, we're going to get you another one of those. Uh huh. Yeah. If a server, whoever server, right, can you hear me? Hello? You got, we're going to get her another one of her top shelf. What was it? A top shelf what? Top shelf Long Island. Top shelf Long Island. No vodka, all tequila. Please relay that to whoever her server is. Yeah. And bring the bill with it, because it's fuck that. No, he had $4,000 in 1537. You know how much money that's worth today? You have $600 of our money that we couldn't go to. You I have $600 of your money? Yes, we were supposed to go to your Fort Lauderdale. You want to have a customer complaint on a goddamn taping? What did I do? No, I'm, I'm giving you $600 already for nothing. You gave me $600? Yeah. I promise you, I ain't see it. Who did you pay? Uh, Where's your check for Fort Lauderdale? Where's Who, your check? Fort Lauderdale? You did your show at Fort Lauderdale. We were supposed to be in the front row. He couldn't get off work. So we've already spent $600. And he's so happy. And we're here. You spent $600 to sit in? Yeah. No, 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 no. It don't, it don't cost $600 to see for me. For row, row, no, nigga. <laughs> I don't know what website you was on, bigasspants.com, but you need to go to my website and buy the tickets for the price I set. Front row is like 78 plus tax. Not, no, not, not in Fort Lauderdale, no. Fort Lauderdale, you was on the wrong website. Well, uh, Now, you was on a reseller site. Mm -mm -mm. I'm sorry that that happened to you. Did you get your money back? No. No, no, I didn't get it, is what I'm telling you. No, it's somebody somewhere counting up your money and looking at my website like, where else we gonna get these dumb motherfuckers at? It ain't on me. Shit. Well, I'm sorry, but yeah, we gonna, do you want something free too, Marcus? It's just part of your money too. What you drinking? That look like water. I had a uh, Chris Rojito. You had a Chris Rojito? That don't look like it was a Chris Rojito. I feel like you guys changed what you was having as soon as I start offering shit. It's just how I feel. Like, I feel like that's a lemon water and that's just regular water. And you're like, shit, I had a, um, 
Gasoline, three gallons. He's pretty late. He's pretty late. No, long time. Congratulations. Look, he wants a Chris Rojito. Uh, or better yet, let's make him a brand new drink called the MC Hammer. <laughs> I have fun fucking with y'all. I got to move on. All right, what else is going on? Let me talk to the, the older black man somebody done set up and brought down here. You, T.D. Jakes, don't look around. <laughs> he like, who could this young man be talking to? <laughs> Swallowed. Now, you ain't looking away, so I guess we get to do whatever happens next. Is this your family right here? Yeah, one more drink. That's your wife, okay, and then who are the two black women, the queen? You don't even know them? You ain't gonna let me finish asking for I don't know these hoes, shit. <laughs> My wife got me down here, shit. Thought we were going to see the minions. <laughs> it's a, is it Gerald, James, David? Nice to meet you, David. And then who is your queen? This is your wife? What's her? Huh? Sonia. Sonia. So we got two Sonias in here tonight. Hey, where are you going? <laughs> Sir, I gotta go change a tire. <laughs> I gotta go change the tire right now. Uh, that damn North Thirsty Round, baby. <laughs> so, David, where are you a pastor at? You not a pastor? Man, you look like you getting money every Sunday. Are you retired? <laughs> No. Damn, you should not be working no more, David. <laughs> he said, I know, I'm trying to get up out of there, shit. What do you do, David? I'm an insurance agent. You're an insurance what? Agent. Agent. Oh, like your own, like you got your own state farm? I used to, I sell Medicare insurance now. You sell Medicare insurance? That's health insurance, isn't it? Yes. Okay, for people your age? <laughs> <laughs> people older than me, two, three months. <laughs> and you from here because you sound like you from elsewhere. I'm from Kansas City, Missouri. You from Kansas City? What part? Uh, I grew up over by Southeast, but it's full part. How far over there? <laughs> I can walk to the park, walk to school park. That one big ass park? Yeah. You ever shoot anybody, anybody up in there? You're like, nope, nope, not at all. That's not there. But I did have an altercation back in 87 and 80, in the summer of 87, me and Sonia, we got up out of there, so we live in Puyallup now. My real name, Jeremiah, had to change that up once I landed here. <laughs> and so, Sonia, what do you do for a living? Is she allowed to talk, David? Why is she checking with you? What in the Ike and Tina the fuck just happened right now? Every other woman spoke for herself. I asked her, she was like, shit, can I say something, Ike? You can eat this goddamn cake, bitch. That's what I know you can do. Sonia, I want to talk to you. Is that okay? You sure? David, can I speak to her? Okay, cool. Sonia, what, what do you do for a living? I'm sorry, you laughed through it. You work at what? Education. Education? You look like a, you look like a like the like a really nice principal. Like when the kids about to get kicked out, you come in and save them. Is that what you do? Are you a principal? No, you vice principal. David, I'm not talking to your goddamn ass. No, I don't need your help. This is domestic violence situation. I see what's going on. Sonia be beating the shit out of David at the house. Let me talk. So, Sonia, what do you do? <laughs> Education policy. Okay, so you're on the policy level. You're down at the superintendent's level? Government. And government? Let me get about, let me get about. Which government? On the federal level, like Betsy DeVos, or on the state level, like Koval? Local. Local. Okay, yeah, I'm, let me get $50. <laughs> I don't want to ask for too much. You know, David down there selling that life insurance. <laughs> All right. And so y'all don't know them? That's not your, that you really don't know him? You sure? You got the same cheeks. 
You do. <laughs> Not those cheeks, but I feel you. <laughs> and so what's your name? Jasmine. Jasmine. Okay. And this your friend over here? That's my best friend. That's your best friend. Okay, best friend. That's my best friend. <laughs> she said, ah. I shoot this motherfucker up over this bitch right here. <laughs> and will, period. Ellipsis, already shot, bullet loaded. <laughs> So since you went to North Thursday, what I was saying is that she's willing to hurt and harm other people around her on behalf of the wellness and safety of her right there. Now, I know you say that same kind of shit about her, but you don't say it the same way. Yeah. Motherfucker, I'll kill everybody in this bitch. You make me go to my goddamn friend. You think I give a fuck, motherfucker? Amen. Black girls and, and, and white hick women get along very well. Yeah. You do. You be like, come on, Shanika, bitch, let's go play outside. <laughs> Girl, I ain't going outside. Well, then we stay inside. <laughs> so how, how did you meet your best friend? How, how did that happen? High school. High school? Y'all go way back. Y'all been beating up bitches your whole life. <laughs> which one of y'all is the starter and which one is the finisher? <laughs> the starter. She's the starter? And you come clean up all the shit she start? I know that's right. Are you just black? You like you black and some other shit. Mexican. You black and Mexican? Ooh, woo. <laughs> shit, can't keep you out. <laughs> she jumped the fence, climbed the fence. She getting over there. Okay, that was racism. I apologize. <laughs> white people are like, what? <laughs> what, alcohol? I didn't want to drink alcohol tonight because I did five shows this weekend. I was already drunk. <laughs> three out of three days. You know, I don't like to be drunk and then sober up and then be drunk again. Some people like that. Like, oh, keep the looking body started up again. No, if I sober up, I'm like, well, maybe time to go to bed. I guess that's. I don't like falling asleep drunk. Maybe that's y'all thing. I do not like that hanging out the bed trying to throw up into a trash can bullshit. <laughs> praying to God and telling him you ain't gonna drink no more knowing damn well you got a brunch on Sunday you about to get fucked up at. <laughs> this is not my shit. Uh, is anybody pregnant in here? Say yay, yay. All right. Was that a man? That's a lady? Okay. I can't see because of the way the lights are set up. You're not a lady? You a man? <laughs> Ma'am, <sighs> you might own several dicks, but that does not make you a man. <laughs> that is a lady over there. It's nice to meet you, ma'am. You pregnant? That was the question that you responded to. Or did you just want some attention? You forgot? I like to ask that every now and then. Who pregnant? Because people be like, yeah. And the dudes be like, bitch, you bullshit. <laughs> right now, right now, congratulations. You want a shot? <laughs> you want a top shelf Long Island? Hey! Now, I ain't talked to y'all, but you guys look like a good couple. Let's have a little conversation. Shit, I don't know how long I've been up here. This is a good crowd. I'm having fun. For real. I'm enjoying myself. Are you having fun? I know you are. <laughs> she be going fishing with no pole. They got gators. <laughs> they got gators. <laughs> and so you guys look like a good couple. That's what I was getting at. And how long y'all been together? For a year. One year? Well, well, you know, you're hanging on to each other like you got more time than that. Let her go. <laughs> when I see you next year, you can cuddle that way. But for now, y'all got to still get to know each other. And, and what's your name? Danielle. Danielle. And Sean? Tyler. Tyler? Yeah, it was Sean, Zach, or Tyler. 
It was pretty close. How long ago did you stop skateboarding? I never. I said, never, bro. I fucking kick pushed here. So, yeah, I'm like, you fucking wanna go see Nate Jackson, babe? <laughs> he doesn't skateboard. What, what do you do for money? I'm a mechanical engineer. You're a mechanical engineer? Okay, on, on uh, light, little stuff or big stuff? Uh, industrial buildings. On what? Industrial buildings. Industrial buildings. So like HVAC? Yeah. Oh, okay. So you don't do what you said you do. <laughs> it changed once I double checked. No, 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 I designed it as the engineer. You're, okay, so you're an HVAC engineer. Yeah, MEP. Okay. And so you working, you, you ain't working right now? It's hot in the motherfucker outside. You ain't got nothing to go fix? I work, I work in an office. You work in the, he, oh, you design it. So you just be like, you need a pipe right there and right there and right there. How much is that? You use CAD? Yeah, AutoCAD. Yeah, AutoCAD. And then once you, can you design it to where it costs less than other people when they design it? Or we can. You, huh? You can. You can? But will you? If it's good for me. If it's good for you? Yeah, you like comedy, right? We might be able to get you a couple tickets to a couple other shows. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to talk to the owner about it. And I just think that maybe we can... We can work something out. I got, I got some air conditioning needs back in there. <laughs> we just need one pipe to go through that bitch and cool down that goddamn, that kitchen. And what do you do for a living? Um, I own an event planning company. You own an event planning company? And what do you usually throw? Um, I used to run a venue, now I do a lot of weddings and birthdays. What venue did you run? I used to run Soul Repair Shop in Capitol Hill. Capitol Hill? Do you know these lesbians? <laughs> She's like, no, but I do lesbian weddings. If you guys ever wanna, you guys ever wanna do that. <laughs> we got 400 different CDs we can play. We got, we got every E40 album ever came out. So if you wanna sprinkle me, man, you can come on down. Okay, so you was working up in Capitol Hill at a brick and mortar, and he was like, man, fuck this, I quit, I'm gonna do my own shit, and now you throw weddings? Well, I used to, I owned my home business before I started there, and then I went back to just going. Is it going good? Um, yeah, I'm rebranding, redoing all that. What's the name of your business? There's people that have needs to throw shit, we can market, I believe in. Uh, Amethyst events. In uh, small businesses. Amethyst? Am Amethyst. Amethyst? Yeah. You should. <laughs> You gotta change that. <laughs> you can't even say that if you've been drinking. <laughs> Amethyst. 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 Is it this in it? Is it this? Say it one more time. Like, can you do the um, this? Yeah, you gotta change that. Is that your birthstone or something? No. Why you pick Amethyst? <laughs> Fuck y'all, man. Y'all don't gotta laugh. I'm trying. Amethyst! Why Amethyst? It's my favorite stone. It's your favorite stone? Isn't an amethyst a lot of different kinds of stones? Um, they have a lot of different colors. A lot of colors? Mostly purple. Mostly purple. And so what's the name of the business? Amethyst. Amethyst what? Amethyst events. Why don't you just do purple parties? <laughs> That's way easier to say. You know what I'm saying? Hey, man, come on now to the purple party. Purple party people. Purple party people, people eaters. That the initials would be PP, and I don't think that. The initials would be PP. You don't like that? I think that might fuck around and make more money than you think. Sex sales. You got damn right. If you'd like to uh, schedule an event, go to ppevents.com. You're like, I'm sorry, what? PP. Like a dick, just like a dick. <laughs> and our events go hard. <laughs> it's hammer time. <laughs> but yeah, you should consider changing that. Since you rebranded, I got in right before you fucked it up. Nah. <laughs> what was the old name that you rebranded out of? It's always been Amethyst Events. So you rebranded everything but the name? Yup. Hear me out, hear me out, hear me out. What's your name? Danielle. Danielle what? Wild. Danielle Wild? Why? I wish. No. Wild. 
Weil? It's my ex-husband's name, and it's a horrible last name because it's. So what's your last name? It's not better. Swearing Jin. <laughs> my last name is. Your last name is Swearing Jin. <laughs> Swearing Jin. Yeah. Swearing Jin. I never heard of that. I heard of Smith, Cotton Gin, <laughs> Swearing Gin is crazy. It makes me swear when I drink it, but I didn't think that somebody swore enough while drinking it to be, they just named you that after that. That's Kyle Swearing Gin. All right, so Swearing Gin events ain't gonna work. Right now, PP is in the lead. Purple party events. That all, PPE, people like that. Remember when that PPE was out? Black people. <laughs> that PPP, niggas was, niggas was, <laughs> niggas had hella businesses. I'm a, I'm a landscaper and an astronaut. <laughs> I mow the moon, thank you. You know how much it costs for me to get to work? I need more money, please. Yeah, we gotta call it something else. So we got so we got the purple parties. Just consider it. Do, matter of fact, make another website. So to have your website, that's easy. Nine thousand dollars later. No, 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 no. Stop letting white people make shit for you. Okay, you need to go to hungry, young, hungry Asian children, Mexican children, black people. Cause, Cause, see, she she graduated while she was homeless. You think she wouldn't have made you a website? She, she married the first nigga that had more than two hundred dollars on her. <laughs> she married Marcus, swearing Hennessy immediately. <laughs> so yeah, but just make another website. Get you a. Uh, one of them websites that make websites and make the second one purple party events. And then real big go PP events. <laughs> Check me out, man. This is where you gotta have all the dick cakes, dick lollipops, all the dick party favors. You work on Capitol Hill. <laughs> you work on Capitol Hill. No, no, I think you missing your blessing. You ain't listening to what I'm trying to tell you. You need to be the PP lady, man. Get this money. Ladies, you ever been to a party where you had to eat a dick? <laughs> but, but I'm like. <laughs> Security lock the door. <laughs> Cut out the lights and lock the door. They eating dicks in here tonight. And we ain't talking about burgers. <laughs> Women do that though, man. I ain't never been to no pussy party. They're like, you blow out the cake. It's just a <laughs> big ass pussy cake. I'm like, man, what the fuck going on, man? <laughs> Who made this shit? But women do, they get together in big ass groups, pin the head on the, t on the dick shaft. And <laughs> That's what they do. Put a balloon on their homegirl ass and jump around trying to pop that. <laughs> <laughs> she like pop 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 pop. I don't know what's so hard. I don't know what's so hard about that shit. All you gotta do is act like you fucking son. You know what I'm saying? Shit. Yeah, you gotta throw the pee pee parties, man. Get into it. Mo money ain't gonna hurt you. He liked the idea. Make sure she don't forget this. You hear me swearing, Jen? Yeah. Shit. And so you guys live out in Puyallup and you come in here? Capitol Hill. You live on Capitol Hill. You drove down from Capitol Hill for this? Yeah, just to see you. Wow. That's cool. Because my whole life, people from here go up there for stuff, but don't nobody from up there come down here. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> when you leave out of here, go to the left. I don't know if you know the area very well. You're used to <laughs> Capitol Hill. Don't go down there to the right, okay? That's where he from. You don't want to go down. You don't want to go down there to the right. <laughs> they still playing CDs down there. <laughs> 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 
<laughs> They're using them for something, I know that. If you gotta go to the right, make three lefts. You understand what I'm saying? I need you to go around that community. All right, so let me talk to the other lesbians. Y'all married too, you got on wedding rings and everything. Engaged. They're engaged? Nice. Who, who asked, who, she said, do you need a wedding planner? Only if you change it. They're like, we want the pee pee party, thank you. Yeah, yeah, I told you, look at you. Yeah, make some money off some dick once every now and then. So uh, who asked who, who got on the knee? I asked her. You the boy? <laughs> Which chopstick no. is the fork? Huh? Which chopstick is the fork? Which chopstick is the boy? It's the fork. The fork? Um, the chopstick, which chopstick is the fork? The one you set on your middle finger. Because you use the other one as a hinge. But that first one, it don't move, it's stoic. It's a foundation in the chopstick hand formation. That will be the man of the two. That's the stupidest, smartest shit I've ever said in my life. Right there. Somebody's gonna be like, yo! <laughs> that is how I use on my chopper stick. <laughs> All right, so you the boy, you got down there, you were like, Shaniqua. What's your name? Ariel. Ariel. <laughs> Is that why you want to know about forks? I got gadgets and gadgets of plenty. <laughs> it's a whirly bug. <laughs> you put it in your hair and twirl it. It makes a nap. Okay. <laughs> How did you meet uh, your mermaid? <laughs> we met on Tinder. You met on Tinder? Is there a different category I don't know about on there? Uh, women, yeah. women, women love women. There's women and women on Tinder. There's a there's a, there's a, uh, there's a gay part of Tinder. There's yeah. obviously. Well, no, you could have been like, signed up as a boy <laughs> and just said it in your bio, like I know I look handsome, but <laughs> it's not hammer time. <laughs> and so you guys fell in love through the app. You've, how did you guys meet in person? Like, cause that's a big step to go from the internet to to in person. Uh, it was during COVID, and so we met at a park. You met in a park in Kansas City. <laughs> Is this who you shot at? Get your gay ass out of here! Fire! Fire! <laughs> she jumped in the water. Huh? He's from a different time where people say shit like that. Because in 2024, we don't say that no more. We, we, we believe in love, no matter how it comes. But back when he was young, he's, you snorted. I just said, he ain't got me that young. I'll tell you right now. You don't want to know what I call you, motherfucker. I call them lick suckers. So they lick and they suck. All right. So you guys met in a park? And you felt like that was a safe place to meet up? You're like, let's just meet. It was, it was out in the open. We could... Was it broad daylight? Yeah, it was. It was. So you were like, let's meet at what part? Right Park? Met on the hill? Yeah, up in um, Mount Vernon. Uh, Mount Vernon, there's like a little... Mount Vernon? Little city park up there. Sis, you drove all the way out to Mount Vernon? I was living in Everett. You live in Everett? I lived in Everett. Oh, I thought this was an interracial couple. <laughs> Both of y'all white. Damn, so you met her in a Mount Vernon Park, broad daylight next to the slides and swings. Pretty much, yeah. And you're like, Ariel? <laughs> She's like, Thomas? <laughs> <laughs> it's Thomasina. <laughs> <laughs> and then how did you get her to fall for you? Uh, just being myself. Just being yourself? Yeah, uh, yeah, I don't have the same swagger. Uh, she said, I don't have the same swagger as the blacks, but um, 
I beat her three times in a row in a, in a, in a good game of Yahtzee. <laughs> I told her if I beat you this time, we're gonna go together. You know that, right? <laughs> I played her for her heart. <laughs> That's from Love and Basketball. Y'all watch that? I gotta go, y'all. I'm Nate Jackson, peace. <laughs>